Good day everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This video will cover week 5 of quarter 3. MELT 26 solves corresponding parts of congruent triangles. And for our objectives, at the end of the session, learners are expected to apply concepts of triangle congruence, solve corresponding parts of congruent triangles, and develop positive attitude towards work. Let's take an example. Find the value of x so that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle XYZ. So we have here AB is equal to 6x plus 14. Side BC is equal to 12. And side AC is equal to 3x plus 13. And also we have here XZ is equal to 16. And YZ is equal to 3x plus 9. Now, what are the corresponding vertices? Alright, we have A corresponds to X, B corresponds to Y, and C corresponds to Z. Very good. How about the corresponding sides? Side AB corresponds to side XY. Or, side AB is congruent to side XY. What else? We have side BC is congruent to side YZ. And last, we have side AC is congruent to side XZ. Alright? Next, what are the corresponding angles? We have angle A is congruent to angle X. Next, angle B is congruent to angle Y. And last, angle C is congruent to angle Z. Now, I just want to ask you, what corresponding parts are needed in solving the problem? Very good! The corresponding sides. Again, what are the corresponding sides? Side AP is congruent to side XY. Side BC is congruent to side YZ. Side AC is congruent to side XZ. Now, what are the value of each corresponding side? The value of side AB is 6x plus 14 is congruent to side XY and side BC is 12 and congruent to side YZ which is 3x plus 9. Side AC is equal to 3x plus 13 and congruent to side XZ which is 16. Now, which information we can use to solve the problem? Very good. Side BC is congruent to side YZ and side AC is congruent to side XZ. Using these two corresponding sides, we can now easily find the value of X. So side BC is 12 and side YZ is 3X plus 9. We need to isolate 3X so we need to use addition property of equality. So, 12 minus 9 equals 3x. 12 minus 9 is 3. We need to bring down 3x and then divide both sides by 3. So, that is DPE or division property of equality and the value of x is 1. Next, side AC is 3x plus 13 and side XZ is 16. We need to isolate 3x. 
And again, use addition property of equality. So we have 3x is congruent to 16 minus 30. Now, bring down 3x and 16 minus 13 is 3. Divide both sides by 3. So x is equal to 1. Now, after finding the value of x, which is 1, hanapin naman natin yung measure ng each side ng ating given triangle. So, we have side AB, which is 6x plus 14. Let's substitute 1 to the given equation. So, we have 6 times 1 plus 14. So, side AB is 20. Then, if side AB is 20, then side XY is also 20. Then, side BC is equal to 12. So, we have side YZ, 3 times 1 is 3. 3 plus 9 is also 12. Next, side AC, 3. Let's substitute 1 to the value of X. So, 3 times 1 is 3 plus 13 is 16. So, the same with side XZ. Alright, example number 2. In the given illustration, identify the measure of each side of the two triangles. Now, let's name the different corresponding sides. We have a side ZY as congruent to side NL or 4X minus 8 is equal to 2X. Side ZX is, e is congruent to side NM or 2X is equal to 2K. Then, side yx is congruent to side lm, or 4x minus 1 is equal to 2x plus 7. Now, let's find the value of x. So, side zy is congruent to side nl, or 4x minus 8 is equal to 2x. Now, let's combine like terms. 4x minus 2x is equal to 8. So, we have 2x equals 8. Divide both sides by 2, so the value of x is 4. Now, let's substitute the value of x, which is 4, to our given equation. We have side zy and side nl. So, 4x minus 8 equals 2x. The value of x is 4. 4 times 4 equals 16 minus 8 is equal to 8. So, 8 equals 8. So, side ZY is equal to 8 and side NL is also equal to 8. Alright? Now, let's proceed to the second equation. We have side ZX is congruent to side NM or 2X equals 8. So, let's get the value of X. We need to divide both sides by 2. So, X is equal to 4. Now, let's substitute to the given equation. So, we have side ZX and side NM. So, 2X equals 8. So, the value of X is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. So, 8 equals 8. So, side ZX is 8 and side NM is also 8. Now, let's proceed to the third corresponding sign. Side yx is congruent to side lm or 4x minus 1 is equal to 2x plus 7. So, hanapin natin yung value ng x. So, we have 4x minus 1 is equal to 2x plus 7. We need to combine like terms. So, we have 4x minus 2x is 2x and 7 plus 1 is 8. So, 2x equals 8. We need to divide both sides by 2. So, we have x is equal to 4. Now, let's substitute the value of x to the given equation. So, we have here 4 times 4 minus 1 equals 2 times 4 plus 7. So, 4 times 4 is 16, 2 times 4 8. So, 16 minus 1 is 15, 8 plus 7 is 15. So, side y x is equal to 15 and also side lm is equal to 15. Alright? Example number 3. Given triangle DAN is congruent to triangle ILO. So, angle A is equal to 6x. Angle O is equal to 5x plus 20. 
angle I is equal to 7x minus 20 and angle B which is 2x plus 30. Give the measure of all the angles. Given the different corresponding angles, which information we can use to solve the problem? Alright, very good. This one. Angle D is congruent to angle 1 or 2x plus 30 is congruent to 7x minus 20. Now using that corresponding angle or angle D is congruent to angle 1, we can now easily find the value of x. So we have 2x plus 30 is congruent to 7x minus 20. Now we can use addition property of equality. 2x minus 7x equals negative 20 minus 30. Then let's simplify. We have negative 5x equals negative 50. We need to divide both sides by negative 5. So we have the value of x which is 10. Now, thanks to remember, in solving problems involving corresponding parts of two congruent triangles, you must always remember that when you have two congruent triangles, that means the corresponding sides and corresponding angles are congruent. Thus, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And so, you have to locate the corresponding parts that are congruent, formulate an equation if the given involves solving for any variable. Then, solve algebraically with the help of the properties of equality you learned in the previous lesson. That's all for this week. Thank you so much, grade 8 students. Have a good day.